Now, in one of the deadliest attacks in Russia in decades, at least 60 people have been killed and more than 140 others wounded after gunmen opened fire with automatic weapons inside a concert hall near Moscow. The attack took place as crowds gathered for performance by Picnic, a famous Russian rock band. In the earliest videos available, gunmen were seen entering the reception and opening fire. Another video from inside the concert hall. Several people were seen standing and looking at what may be wrong up until gunshots and screams were heard. Several people fell down and hid behind the chairs. Russian news reports say that the assailants also used explosives, causing a massive blaze on the roof of the Crocus City Hall on the outskirts of Moscow. Videos from outside showed the building on fire, with a huge cloud of smoke rising through the night sky. Moscow Regional Governor Andrei Vorobyov said a significant fire was still burning at the venue. Indeed, the tragedy happened. Firefighters are working in Crocus. The area of the fire is significant. Everything else will be clear after the firefighters finish their work. Victims were carried into a medical helicopter outside the Crocus City Hall as the rescue operations were still ongoing. According to the news agency TASS, museums in Moscow will be closed on Saturday and Sunday after the deadly attack. Russia's top investigative agency is investigating shooting and explosions. Based on the incident today, the main investigation department of the Russian Investigative Committee opened a criminal case under Article 205 of the Criminal Code of the Russian Federation terrorist attack. The investigative and operational group has already arrived at the scene and has begun its work. Also, the chairman of the investigative committee of the Russian Federation, Alexander Ivanovich Bastrykin, is already working at the scene. Russia's TASS state news agency has reported that Putin has wished all those injured in the emergency at Crocus City Hall a speedy recovery and conveyed his gratitude to the doctors. The Islamic State, the terrorist group that once sought control over swathes of Iraq and Syria, has claimed responsibility for the attack. The full statement posted on its Telegram account reads, and I quote, Islamic State fighters attacked a large gathering of Christians in the city of Krasnogorsk on the outskirts of the Russian capital Moscow, killing and wounding hundreds and causing great destruction to the place before they withdrew to their bases safely. End of quote. The U.S. has intelligence confirmed that the Islamic State's claim taking responsibility for the attack and the official said the U.S. had warned Russia in recent weeks about the possibility of an attack. The U.S. collected intelligence in March that Islamic State Khorasan, known as ISIS-K, the branch of the group based in Afghanistan, had been planning an attack on Moscow. The death toll till now has made it one of the worst attacks on Russia since the 2004 Beslan school siege, when Islamist militants took more than a thousand people hostage, including hundreds of children. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.